Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video we're going to be looking at human evolution. Okay, now understand there's a lot of people that don't believe in this. I myself as a Muslim do not believe in evolution. I believe in God created Adam and that's where I came. However, it is extremely important to understand you need to know this for your exams. So I need you guys to tune in and listen. Okay. How can evolution be proved? Well, of course, fossils are the major contributor to this. So hopefully by the end of this lesson, you guys will understand and girls will understand human evolution, the ancestral timeline and the stone tools they used in order to survive and thrive at that time. As you can see, here are some skeletons. Now it's important to understand the first ape like the first ape like human like apes that were found early on, they had longer arms and they were they were kind of this type, so kind of hunched. And that's why I've got these here just to show you that. Now this was the first type of this was the first ancestor found. Now, Ardi or, Ost or Ardipithecus remedius, Ardi in short was believed to be on Earth 4.4 million years ago. It's a mixture of ape and human. Ape like big toes suggest that she climbed trees, long arms, and short legs. So, this in your timeline right now, so you're looking at human evolution, your proof of fossils, which is the first ape-like human that came, Ardi, number one, 4.4. Now, the next one was Lucy. Now, Lucy was around 3.2 million years ago, a species called Australopithecus afarensis found in Ethiopia, Ethiopia and more human than Ardi, more adapted to walking than Ardi due to arched feet, bigger brain, could walk more efficiently. So, 1.2 million years later, we're getting a massive development in the walking side. It, because Lucy was bipedal, which means she used to walk. Now, where did the name Lucy come from? If you look at Lucy, it starts with an L. If you imagine me standing up and I had kind of long feet, it looked like an L. And that's where the L comes from, Lucy. That's where the word comes from, Lucy. She was, she used to walk around. She wasn't like Ardi, okay? So that's 3.2. Now, this was a nice research conducted by Richard Leakey and his team he believed to find in Kenya 1984 Takana boy probably an homo erectus they believe him to be now after this picture is actually taken from 2005 now in 2005 there was no Ardi. I think Ardi was discovered recently, not recently, but it, but obviously before 2005. Look at 15 years ago. This was when I was in high school and I was in year 10. This was kind of an image that my teacher would have shown me. So we've got actually Ardi number one, uh, Lucy and number two, then Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, and Homo sapien. I remember it with like this H E N S, hens. I remember the first two, Ardi and Lucy, and I just remember the rest of them as hens, H-E-N-S, H-E-N-S, okay? Now, what kind of tools did these ape-like human beings use? Let's have a look. Okay, so it's important to understand that fossils are obviously the major contributor to the belief of evolution. The earliest human ancestors are called hominids. There were many different species of hominid that evolved from ape-like animals around 4 million years ago. We've just been through some of them right there. Archaeology. Archaeologists study the remains that accompany hominid bones. Sometimes there are no bones and only stone tools. Now, we're going to be looking at the stone tools that they used. Not only that, but the brain size has changed. Okay, the brain size has developed and gone larger over the years. Okay, now, Homo habilis. Now, with Ardi and Lucy, we don't really look at the stone tools they use. 
but with the other ones we did. Now Homo habilis was believed to use these pebble-like stones here that he used to use to scrape off meat of bones. He might even use it as a weapon to throw it at you but I don't think his was the most effective but as you can see it's quite sharp and he was believed to come around 2.5 to 1.5 million years ago okay now Homo erectus he was around for a very long time now Homo erectus actually started to use hand axes and wooden spears and really start developing the ideas now it's important to understand that these 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 ancestral ape-like humans as they went along their tools became more sophisticated so he's got more sophisticated tools than habilis now as you can see homo erectus lived around 2 to 0 0.3 million years ago they sculpted rocks into shapes to produce more complex tools like simple hand axes these could be used to hunt dig chop and scrape meat from bones so he really had the first kind of like spear being produced now homo neanderthalensis he really developed the spear much more okay they were more complex tools there was evidence of this used with sharp pointed edges and wooden spears so really really taking stone tools to another level and finally homo sapien so homo sapiens even sharper tools looking at needles arrowheads okay looking at fish hooks so really taking hunting to another level because you've got to understand for you to out evolve your predecessors you've got to have you've got to be able to survive you've got to have be have the survival of the fittest you've got to be the best and obviously so homo sapiens were far more suited to living than homo habilis were with the with the little rocks that they had Okay, so if you're into archaeology, last but not least, finally, last but not least. Now, if you look at these three, let's answer these and I'll give you some time to answer them. Three stone tools are shown here, A, B and C. Using only the structural features of the tools, put the tools in the most likely order of age starting with the oldest. I would say the oldest was C then a and then b the reason why is because clearly you can see them are being more sophisticated and sharper and better tools in order to hunt give reasons for that i've just did which tool is most likely to have been made by the modern humans definitely b modern humans homo neanderthalensis homo sapiens developing spears that look like that the tool labelled A was found in a layer of rock above the tool label C. Does this support or contradict your answer? Yeah, it doesn't. It's fine. Because A should be found above C. Because C would be the one lowest, then A and then B. So stone tools are also evidence of the ape-like human creatures that came before. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Peace out.